guys, it's Meg and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a makeup inspired look by JoJo's Video Disaster. This song is still pretty, well it's not pretty new, it's semi new and it has been out for a while. I just, I absolutely love JoJo, I used to listen to her back in the day and now that she's back I just, I don't know, I love the way she is, I love her music and I love this makeup look. So if you haven't watched her video, go on YouTube and search it and watch it because it is just an amazing song and it's a great song and it's a great video. But I decided to recreate this look today and as you can see, I did um, some of my facial makeup already and I have one eye done and the other one I'm going to show you how to do it. It's just easier to do one eye first and it takes a lot less time when recording so... That is why I did that. I did already do my lip gloss and I put foundation and concealer on and stuff for the most part. So at the end of this video I will list all my products that I use in this video so you guys can figure that out and I will list all my links below to my accounts etc and I think that's it so let's get started. Alright one of the first things that you want to do is you're going to want to take a, if you wear concealer you can do that too. Also. I started wearing concealer, but I use this Wet n Wild Cover All Stick. It looks like this. It kind of reminds you of lipstick. It twists up. Uh, I put this underneath my eyes, so that's one of the first things I did. So if you wear concealer, you can do that first, or you can do that last. Um, I've seen people do it both ways, and it doesn't matter. But the very first thing you want to do is use a primer for your eye, and I'm using e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. And you can get this at Target, because they carry some e.l.f. products at your local Target or you can get it off of eyeslipspace.com. It is only a dollar and I absolutely love it. So we're going to prime our eyes. And then we're just going to rub that in and rub it into our crease and up to our brow bone. Alright, and the next thing that you want to do is we're going to start with the um, the eye. So I have two different palettes here. One is my Eyes Lip Face palette. We're going to be using two colors out of this. This is one of the new palettes. There are two new ones out for spring and I happen to have the 100 piece set one. And this is what this one is. We're going to be using, let's see if I can get this open. Alright, we're going to be using two different colors. We're going to be using this one right here. And this one is kind of like a nude skin color. And then we're going to be using this one up here, which is kind of like a taupe brown. Like a taupe tan or brown. So we're going to be using those two out of the e.l.f. palette. And this is a little palette I got from the Color Workshop. And we're going to be using this teal green, the shimmery green right here. I'll swatch it for you guys really quick. That is what that looks like. That's the color we're going to be using. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the taupe brown from my e.l.f. palette, the taupe tanner brown, and I'm going to take that first and I'm going to use my um, flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to take the taupe brown and blend it in my crease and on the side of my eye. Well, you're going to put it in your crease anyways, and then blend it to the side of your eye. So as you guys see. And when you're doing this side of your eye, you just want to kind of go in, like, think of windshield wipers. You just want to kind of do windshield wiper blade motion um, to get, like, the side of your eye because that's where she has it the most in her video. And you can also take it on your brush and kind of just go like this and push down. It'll also kind of create like an angle.
All right, one of the next things that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and take our nude pink color from my, well, from my e.l.f. palette. Um, any taupe tan brown color would work and any kind of nude pink skin color, like, you know, color of your skin would work also. And we're going to take that and we're going to put it all over our eyelid and up in our brow bone. And we're going to put it up here, kind of as like an eye highlight is what you want to do with this. All right, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take that green from my color, it's my color workshop palette. It is like a teal green. And we're gonna take that and put it um, underneath our eyelash line and on it if you can. And again, it looks like this. That is the green right here. We're just gonna take that. Put it underneath our eyelash line. And also make sure you get in the corners because she had a lot in her corner of her eyes where it was mainly focused, the green. All right, and since I put more on this side, I think I'm going to touch up it a little bit. Just take some of it away. Because um, my brush is a wider brush, so it does get on a little bit. Like, it cakes on a little bit easier. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit and just put more on this side. Just kind of so we make it even. Alright, so that completes that. And that is it for the eyeshadows. Again, we took three different colors, a taupe tan brown and a pink nude color and also a teal green. Now the next thing that we want to do is put eyeliner on the top of our eyelid to match this one. I'm using LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in Black. It is a twist up pencil. You can use a cream eyeliner, a gel eyeliner, whatever you choose. Alright, and that is that. Then we're going to take, you can take any mascara. I am using 
Lash Stylist Mascara by Maybelline New York. And you're going to put it on the top and the bottom. And then now is where you could add false lashes if you choose to. Um, I know a lot of people that would and do that I've seen on YouTube do this look. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I already curled the one, which mine don't curl very well. So I'll probably start wearing false eyelashes after a while. Just to get more like, because mine aren't that full. That's the only thing I don't like about mine. Alright, and that completes the look. I hope you guys liked it. This was a very fun tutorial for me to do. Um, it's very simple and easy. I just wanted to take you through it without rushing through it completely. And this is the finished look. And again, I hope you guys like it. Like it. I <laughs> can't talk today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will list all the products that I use in this video below. And I will list all my account information below as always. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I've been on both of those interacting more. So come talk to me. I would love to come talk. I would love to talk to you guys. Um, and again, if you have any requests or things you'd like to see, comment down below. And again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye!